everyone! So today I'm going to show you guys some of the products that I've used up within the past couple months. I really wanted to use up some of the products that I just had sitting around in my collection. So I stopped buying new ones for a little while so that I could start using some of these ones up. And within the past couple months I found some really great hits and also some not so good misses. So I'm just going to show you guys um, the things that I've used up and I'm going to get right into it so that this video isn't too long. So the first thing that I have here is my Kors White Tea Gel Cleanser. This is the same one that I used in my skincare routine and this isn't amazing. Um, the one complaint that I did have about it was that it doesn't foam up into a nice lather because it is a gel. Um, but the thing I do like about it is that it is mineral oil free, silicone free, propylene glycol free, and paraben free, which is awesome in my books. I love naturally derived products. I use a lot of organic products on my face, so I did like this. Um, another thing though is that it's kind of pricey, which I wasn't a big fan of, so I haven't repurchased this yet, and I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to or not. I'm kind of iffy about it. But, I mean, for the most part, this cleanser was alright, it just wasn't awesome. The next thing I have is actually another cleanser, and this one is the Neutrogena Naturals Cleanser. Um, this one is actually a lot like the Kors one, except this one lathers up really nicely. It's also paraben-free, which of course I love. The one thing was, though, I can't find it anywhere anymore. Like, I find all of the shelves are empty, so I don't know if it's because it's high in demand or not, but that's kind of why I bought the Kors one, was because I thought they'd be similar and I couldn't find this one. So, I mean, if I can find it again, I will definitely repurchase it. I love the smell of it. It smells kind of like pears and apples almost. Um, so, this was a really big hit in my books. I just wish I could find it again more easily. Um, the next thing I have here is a moisturizer. This is the Say Yes to Carrots Daily Moisturizer. And I really like this, actually. It's kind of thick. If you don't like thick creams, you probably would not like this. But I really liked it for nighttime, especially in the winter. Like I said, um, my skin is pretty much normal to dry, except in the winter it gets really, really dry where I live. So I do like to use a really moisturizing cream at nighttime when I go to bed, and then kind of a lighter one throughout the day under my makeup. So I did like this one. I just haven't repurchased it because it's summertime. So I, I probably will again in the winter. And then the next one I have is actually another moisturizer. This is my Avalon Organics Vitamin C Moisturizer. And I love this stuff. I absolutely love it. I love the way it smells. I love the texture of it. And I don't know, I just, I love it. Um, I find it makes my skin look so radiant because of the vitamin C in it. And I've actually used up two of these, oddly enough. So yeah, that's how much I love it. I'm on my third one right now. So this is the Avalon Organics Vitamin C Rejuvenating Oil Free Moisturizer. Love it. Definitely a big hit in my books. It's my everyday moisturizer. And another thing that you guys are going to recognize is my Avalon Organics Vitamin C Serum. This goes with my moisturizer and I'm actually on my third one of this one also. Except I only have one to show you guys because I threw the first one out. I didn't intend on making this video when I used it up so I only have one to show you guys. But I absolutely love this once again. I just find it goes hand in hand with the moisturizer. And I only use the serum at nighttime because I just find that it kind of gives my moisturizer that extra care that it needs for nighttime. So, another thing I have used up is my Kors pomegranate wipes. These were okay. I didn't find that they were ridiculously special or anything. I know I know they also have um, milk. I think it's milk protein wipes. I kind of want to try those ones, but I haven't um, repurchased anything yet because I just can't decide. These are really pricey too, though. I can't remember how much they were. I think they were like twenty dollars, which is a lot for wipes. Um, the one thing I liked about them was that they're nice and cool in the morning, so when I would wake up and my face is kind of puffy, um, these feel really cooling and refreshing on my face, which I did like, and they also don't sting my eyes when I remove my eye makeup with it, so that's another bonus. So once again, these aren't anything special, but I used them up and I didn't really have any complaints about them. The next thing I have is a concealer. This is a gosh concealer. I don't remember what it was called though, because it all rubbed off. All I can see is gosh corrector. So um, this was an awesome concealer though. It was so brightening. I just found that it was perfect for under my eyes. I just wish that it was bigger because I used it up so fast and I can't find it anywhere anymore. I think it was discontinued or something, which is so unfortunate because it was awesome. So if I can find it again, I will definitely be repurchasing it because I loved it. 
And the next thing I've used up is actually another concealer. This one is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer. And I am in the color Ivory. I love this concealer. It's awesome for like everywhere on your face. I find it's great for under your eyes. It's great for imperfections. Really highlights and it's got awesome coverage. I usually can get away with like two layers of it. Once again, I've used up two of these. And I'm on my third one right now. So I really love that concealer. The next thing I've used up is yet another concealer. This one is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Concealer. And I I'm in the color light 862 this one was really awesome for under your eyes um, I found it's just really highlighting and brightening and um, I actually did repurchase that one I really like it so I'm on my second one now you guys are gonna think I'm crazy but I have another concealer <laughs> this one is the L'Oreal true match and I'm in the color w123 so I really like this one once again it's really yellow toned so I really like to put that one on um, on my under eye bags first and then put like a highlighting one over it because that one's really nice for neutralizing especially like in the morning when I have really dark circles so I also did repurchase that one and I love it and here I have my last concealer this one is the Maybelline fit me concealer and I was in the shade 15 fair um, this one is really good it has really nice coverage I don't find it's highlighting so I really like to use this one on my imperfections like pimples and stuff and for a while I couldn't repurchase it because I couldn't find it once again but finally the drugstore in my city got it back so I was able to repurchase it so I have another one now which is awesome because I really like it so I know I have like a ridiculous amount of concealers here that I've used up but they're all really good so hopefully that helps you guys another thing that I have used up is my Elizabeth Arden brow powder in the color soft blonde um, I've used this up 100% and it is disgusting now I actually repurposed another one the other day so I can't wait to throw this one in the garbage but this one is really awesome because um, even though I have dark hair and this is blonde I find that it's the only one that doesn't go like a reddish auburn tone on me so I really like this one because I just find it looks really natural when it's blended in with my brows um, I just find it's the only one that's perfect and it comes with a lot of product I really love the packaging on it because it has the mirror and then it also comes with two brushes inside so I love this and um, I'm really glad I got to repurchase another one because that's a huge hit in my books Another thing that you guys are going to recognize is my Pure Minerals Bronzer. This one's in the color Medium Dark and it has SPF 15. Now this isn't, I guess, used up um, because I have like these crumblies left in it. But I mean, it's basically used up. I can barely use it anymore. So I repurchased another one. Um, this is an awesome bronzer for people who are really yellow toned like I am. Because it doesn't make me look muddy or dirty. It doesn't go like a weird reddish brown color on me once again. So I really love it because it's nice and olivey toned. So that's in the color medium dark in case you guys are wondering. I absolutely love it as a bronzer and I get so many compliments on how natural it looks on my skin tone. So that is like a huge hit in my books. So the last makeup product I have here is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and I was in the color medium and I absolutely love this. I used it up 100% once again. I just find it makes you look so airbrushed but unfortunately I don't really have a MAC anywhere near me. The nearest one is like hours away so when I can get to a city that has one I will most definitely be repurchasing it but until then um, I'm going to have to stick to my Physicians Formula one. <laughs> The next thing I used up is my Quo Nail Polish Remover. This is the strengthening kind, and I used this stuff up like there was no tomorrow. I seriously went through it so fast, um, and it takes your nail polish off pretty good, so I don't have any complaints about that. I did repurchase it, so. And the last thing I have here is my Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. Like everyone else, I love this stuff. I find that it doesn't leave my hair feeling like it has some sort of a residue buildup on it. And I do feel like it protects my hair for the most part. I mean, my hair obviously still gets fried because I straighten it, but I do like it and I keep repurchasing it over and over again. So that is it for the products that I've used up within the past couple months. I hope you guys really like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to keep seeing videos from me and like this video if you did like it. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I link it down below in all my videos and I post tons of updates and photos on there. So if you guys want to kind of keep updated, make sure you're following me on there. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Nothing's gonna stop me but divine intervention. I reckon it's a I really love no. Doesn't really foam up into a nice lather. Yeah. Okay. Do you see that little fluff? <laughs> no.
I found some really good, um, much like everyone else, I absolutely loved this stuff. This is such a mess. Okay. I'm your